As you grow up, maybe you've had this experience. It's something I've experienced. You kind of hear phrases, either from a parent or a teacher or a friend, that can become ever so familiar. You know, phrases like, snug as a bug in a rug. I've never seen a bug in a rug, but I've heard that phrase before. Or something my parents and even grandparents would say is, stay firmly flexible. Well, one of the phrases I've heard as a pastor is that as a pastor, even as a Christian, we should keep it all, only, and always about Jesus. I love that statement because I love not only how simple it is, but how true it is. And in Colossians chapter 2, Paul, he says a similar thing. Let me read it to you from Colossians chapter 2 from the New Living Translation. He says this, And now, just as you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. You know, I've often heard it said that one of the greatest marks of a mature person is that they're grateful, that they have an attitude of gratitude, that they don't become a cynic, but they become one who's thankful. And what I find so interesting about this passage is that Paul is writing to this group of believers in the area of Colossae. And it's like he says, listen, make it all only always about Jesus. Let your roots grow down into him and your life will begin to look fruitful, mature. You'll begin to look thankful. You know, one phrase that's been often said to me that is, if you wanna be someone who's great and you want a life that's full, well then be grateful. Make it all, only, always about Jesus. Colossians chapter two shows us not only how to make it all only and always about Jesus, but how to have a full and a great life. It's by making it about Jesus and allowing him to make us thankful people.